Let's study echelon form of a matrix today. So what is the echelon form of a matrix? A matrix will said to be in echelon form if it is following these three conditions. Condition number one, all non-zero rows, so I have written twice, so all non-zero rows, if there are any, precedes the zero rows. That means if in a matrix, if there is any zero row, that will be in the last and all non-zero rows will precede that zero rows. We have a zero row. A zero row is a row with all zero elements. So this is a zero row and we can see all non-zero rows are preceding this zero row. So this is the first condition. Condition number two, the number of zeros preceding the number of zeros. So this is about number of zeros that precedes the first non-zero element in a row has to be less than the number of such zeros in succeeding row. So this is about number of zeros that precedes first non-zero element and that has to be less than the number of such zeros in succeeding rows. Let's see. Here we talk about the row number two. So this is the number of zeros preceding the first non-zero element. So this is one. We have only one zero has to be lesser than such zeros in its succeeding row. So its succeeding row is the row number three, row number three. So we can see this is first non-zero element. And before that, we have two zeros, right? So in this row, this is first non-zero element. And before that, we have one zero. This is its succeeding row has to contain more number of such zeros. So this is one and this is two. We can see this is lesser than this, right? So this has to be true with all the rows. Now let's talk about the third condition. The first non-zero element in a row has to be unity. We can see in each row, in this row, first non-zero element, this is a unity first non-zero element into the second row this is a unity that is one first non-zero element into this is again a unity so such type of matrix is known as the echelon form of a matrix now let's see with an example how we can convert a matrix into echelon form let's consider this matrix and convert this matrix into echelon form before converting let's analyze whether this is in echelon form no, this is not an echelon form because it's violating the rule number three that all non-zero elements, the first non-zero element must be a unity. Here we can say this is two, here it is three, here it is minus one. So the first condition is, uh, sorry, the third rule is violating. So let's convert this into echelon form. The best practice is to do is to convert this into upper triangular form. So let's try to convert this into upper triangular form and in the same process, we will convert this into echelon form. So just to convert this into uh, upper triangular form, we will try to convert the elements. So this is in the first column, in the second column, we'll first convert these two into zero, and then we'll convert this element to zero. So let's start converting this into upper triangular matrix. Now, what will be the first operation? Let's uh, divide this uh, row by two so we'll divide this first row by two so the first operation is row one will be converted by row one divided by two so now this will be one three by two and this is four this will be three one and two this will be minus one two and two now we need to convert this into zero it will be easier for us so what we will be doing it this is the first column and remember, uh, the elements of the first column are operated with the first row. So we need to operate this with first row. So the operation will be R2 will be converted by R2 minus 3R1. This will be the operation. So now let me write the new matrix. First row will remain same. The second row will be changed. The third row will remain same. So now what will be the elements of the second row? This is uh, 3 minus 3 that is zero. This is nine by two. So we are multiplying this with three. This is nine by two. So one minus nine by two. So this is 
1 minus 9 by 2 this is 2 minus 9 uh, which is minus of 7 by 2 so we have minus of 7 by 2 here in the second element now what will be the third element so this is 3 to the 6 2 minus 6 will be minus of 4 so we have converted this to 0 now what will be the next element we need to convert in the same column from top to bottom so this will be the next element we need to convert to 0 what will be the operation we simply add with the first row remember this element belongs to first column so the operation will be performed with the first row so now the operation will be that r3 will be converted by r3 plus r1 the first row will remain same this is 1 3 by 2 and this is 2 second row will remain same this is 0 minus 7 by 2 and this is minus 4 now the changes will be in the third row minus 1 plus 1 this will be a 0 2 plus 3 by 2 so this is 2 plus 3 by 2 this will be 4 plus 3 by 2 that is 7 by 2 so we have a 7 by 2 here the next is uh, the last one 2 plus 2 that will be a 4 so we have a 4 here so we have converted all the elements of the first column to 0 now we'll shift to the next column so we need to convert now this element to 0 and as this is in the second column we need to perform the operation with second row right so the operation will be r3 will be converted by r3 plus r2 you can see this is a simple operation so now the first row will remain same 1 3 by 2 this is 2 0 minus 7 by 2 and this is 4 and now this will remain 0 because both are 0 there will be no change 7 by 2 minus 7 by 2 will be a 0 and 4 minus 4 will again be a 0 so we can see that now the third row is a zero row so we have converted this into upper triangular matrix whether now this is an excellent form or not so if we can see that uh, this is following the preceding zero concept and the non-zero row concept but the first element in each row which is a non-zero element has to be a unity for that purpose we need to convert this minus 7 by 2 into 1 so what we'll be doing is we will perform an operation and uh, the operation in the operation we'll multiply this by minus of 2 by 7 so the new operation will be r2 will be converted by uh, minus of 2 by 7 r2 and after this operation we'll have 1 3 by 2 2 now this will remain 0 minus 7 by 2 and minus 2 by 7 will cross out and this will become 1 minus and minus will plus and 4 to the 8 by 7 this will be 8 by 7 and in the last row we'll have 0 0 and 0 now we need to check all the three rules of the equivalent form the first rule that all the non-zero rows must precede zero rows so it's satisfying this is non-zero row this is non-zero row preceding zero rows first rule is satisfied second rule all the zeros all the uh, zeros in a row preceding non-zero element must be lesser than its succeeding row so this is again a satisfying condition the third condition all non-zero elements first non-zero elements must be unity so you can see here it is one and here it is one so we can see that this matrix is in echelon form so this is the echelon form of a matrix so that's it for the today's lecture in the next lesson we will meet and talk about normal form of the matrix thank you so much